You might say this is a little bit of a disclaimer here. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like I can't get my thoughts together in this episode. It has very little to do with the model ship. Um, I'm not apologizing. I guess maybe I'm more or less warning you. Uh, well, they, they can't all be good. Somebody has suggested maybe, Ron, you should take a break. Problem is, if I take a break from this, I don't know what I'm going to do. Good morning, and welcome to another cloudy Winnipeg. But at least it's not pouring like it was yesterday morning. Getting a later start, but hey, what's the difference? I'm not going to be doing anything on the uh, model on camera right now, today anyway, so... Uh, but what I am going to do is uh, continue on uh, from where we were yesterday. If you remember yesterday we put on the super macro and I turned the camera on and I was watching it in the monitor here and I was talking about what I was doing <laughs> but I didn't notice that the the little red dot in the in the screen was not on <laughs> that that should have been my first clue I sometimes forget to check that and I did. So uh, consequently, all the stuff that I, that I got there when I was saying, and as you can see, <laughs> well, you couldn't see nothing. So I, I just deleted that part of that, ep, that, that uh, clip. So yeah, uh, that was too bad because uh, we could have wound that up yesterday. And I guess I guess I could have done a rollback. Somebody, I think it was Kevin, suggested that you could have done. I could have done a rollback. Yeah, well, I, I could have, except that. Um, Oh, by the way, yesterday afternoon, it, it, it did get kind of nice outside in the late afternoon. And I did get out on my uh, bike and scooter, as you'll see. But anyway, Kevin was saying I could have done a rollback. But, you know, later on in the evening, like, uh, uh, I just I just was getting kind of tired and I just didn't feel like it anymore. So, uh, as I've often said in, in this hobby, if you don't feel like doing it, don't force it. Or you'll soon get sick of it. Oh, another viewer mentioned he, he indicated that he was a, a, a like I'm I'm a I, I guess you might say I'm a Nikon person. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I am and I'm not. Now I should explain here. The reason why I have Nikon equipment is because way back in the '60s, anybody in that owned a Nikon camera, as far as I'm concerned, they uh, you know the the Nikon camera at to me, at that time, was the holy grail, and I thought, oh, if I could only have a Nikon. But they were generally about twice as expensive for basically the same thing as some of the other brands. Well, yes, they were better. That's why the, that's why the pros had them. Uh, you know, there was a, you know, the the paparazzi or whatever of the of the day. Uh, they were all snapping with their motor drive Nikons. <laughs> And if you watch the old newsreel footage, footage from the 60s, 70s, 80s, in the background you'll hear this zap, 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 and you know, the, these Nikons going off. <laughs> well, that's why I have a Nikon, because I, I always wanted one. But you know, uh, it, uh, I did entertain the idea of getting Canon, because Canon seems to have a little bit more in the way of accessories. Uh, the price is about the same. Uh, it seems to be more popular. There's just just more stuff that you that's more readily available with Canon. Uh, some of the high-end uh, video cameras will accept uh, camera uh, Canon S SLR lenses. Uh, you know, whereas they won't take the Nikon. Now, I'm not going to upgrade to a high-end video camera anyway, because this uh, Z9, it, it does fantastic video. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, I mean, it's, it's bordering on Hollywood quality. If I switch it to 8K best, uh, the, the, the footage that comes out of that is, is really good. Uh, yeah. 
Anyway, enough about that. Let's let's sort of recompose here, get our super macro back on. And you, if you think it looks different from the last time you saw it when it was only about this big and I was saying how, how small it was, well, it's got the adapter on it and it's fully extended. So that's why it looks different. <laughs> but it's the same little lens. Um, okay, let's... Uh, Let's get going here. Uh, uh, oh, uh, you can see the bridge there barely. Uh, our, our friends uh, uh, Don and Bridget did come over the bridge this morning. So, uh, yeah, things are back to normal. They may well have yesterday at some time too, but you know, there's, there's only so much time that I'm going to waste over this bridge stuff. And... Uh, I didn't want to be sitting there, uh, you know, for for an hour or more. Even though I can program the 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 uh, uh, the PVR on that on that surveillance system to play back at eight times speed. Well, well, you know, even at eight times to get go through a whole bunch of footage, it takes an hour or more. And I, I you know, this like I say, there's just only so much I'm willing to do. So. Uh, whether they came through and walked through yesterday, I don't know. I kind of think they did later on, but I'm only guessing. Uh, let's let's uh, let's get going here. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I wanted to remember to tell you. Um, today's episode is going to be uh, uh, oh uh, yesterday I was out on I was out on my bike and scooter. Around the time when I normally upload my episode onto the uh, one two hundred scale model ship uh, Facebook Jim Jim Steen's uh, Facebook group, and uh, so those of you who may may watch it on that, you you may have noticed it was about an hour hour and a half late. Well, I was just out having a good time, and I didn't want to have to stop and and load it on there, uh, so. Just to let you guys know that are you know that it's it may not always be on time, um, until the winter. <laughs> In the winter time, you can pretty well count on it being up at five o'clock Winnipeg time again. Uh, anyway, anyway, let's let's uh, recompose here, uh, get this thing screwed in uh, with the re with the reverse thread, <laughs> and uh, yeah. Oh, well, uh, another viewer, he, he mentioned to me, he said that uh, th he talked about his, his old Pentex camera. And he talked about the bellows attachment. Well, I'm going to try and find a, a picture that I took in 1964. It would be late 64. Yeah, I think it would probably be late 64. Anyway, uh, uh, with that bellows attachment. I've actually I've got two. I'm gonna I'm gonna dig them out. They they were slides, and uh, so for that viewer, I hope I hope you're watching. But the, these two shots uh, that I'm hoping to <laughs> superimpose, uh, I I took uh, with using the the bellows attachment as as a close up. Um, now let's let's get going here. For goodness sakes, Ron. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I think I have that centered on the top of the spindle pretty good. And uh, I'm using the three camera method again. Um, okay, let's uh, remember now. Press record. Okay, let's get this going. Alright, now <clears throat> we want to see the little red dot in the in the screen. So uh I'm gonna be I'm gonna obviously be editing an awful lot of footage out of this because this is gonna take a little bit of doing here to get this focused in on. I, I haven't done yet this yet this morning. It's not like I'm I've had it all set up and ready to go. I'm just showing you what I go through here to get some of these shots so all right there's our little red dot I can definitely see it and this camera will now be recording I'll probably be using the the audio 
that this one's recording because I don't have to, to shout for that one to hear me. Okay. Now, th this will only... You know what? I don't. I don't even need this because I, 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 I can't. I can't control this lens with this thing. So may as well just move it out of the way. All right, here we go. Let's. Uh, we're 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 opened right up to f two point eight, and we're going to want to move in here. Get the get it centered on the screen, and. Uh, I imagine that shiny spot that's starting to come into focus there is the top of the spindle. Yep, there we go. Now this is this is very very crucial, very crucial. Let's maybe lock this so it's not swinging back and forth. For for some reason it just does not it looks fuzzy to me for some reason. I wonder wonder why that is. Okay, let's let's just lock this in so it doesn't slide down. <laughs> Let me tighten it up just a little bit. This is all this is almost worse than a microscope. Okay, now if I, oh, it's tilting down on me. Okay, there, I think that's pretty good. Let's move it, which way do we want to move it? There. Okay, the top of it, is, the top center looks, it looks pretty good. Now let's see what happens when we turn it. Um, okay, it's going to go in and out of focus, unfortunately. I wonder if I could just move it very, very slightly more to the... Is that somewhat better? Um... Yeah, that, that, that's that's pretty good. That's that's pretty good. Okay, uh, part parts of it are always going to be in focus, and and uh, parts of it are going to go in and out. All right, let's let's just uh, stop our lens down now a little bit here. To uh, f four, five six. F eight. Okay, I think what I'm going to try to do is in in the uh, when I'm in editing, I, I can sharpen, electronically sharpen just a little bit here. But anyway, let, now let's see if we can get this going. Oh, I bumped it. I, you know, I only bumped it probably half a millimeter, but it makes a huge difference. Okay, here we, here we go. Hold this down. Okay, now we should be able to compare that with with uh, the the uh, imagery that I took with with this lens, the nor the normal macro. Uh, I'll, I'll try and put them side by side somehow if I can. I, I think I should be able to, and you'll be able to see that the difference in size. Because right right now this one is is moved in about as close as we can get. Okay, I'm not going to do any more here. I think uh, I've proved my point. Um, and I did remember to press record. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can show you here. Uh, what do we got here? It's 11.28. <laughs> the morning is gone and I've done nothing on the model. Uh...
this is one of those mornings I just don't know what to do. I guess I don't feel very much like modeling. Maybe maybe that's what the problem is. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to quit. Don't worry. Um, okay. It is what it is. Now, you will recall at the end of yesterday's episode, I said something to the effect of, it looks like the streets are drying up. Well, at that moment, it actually did. But by the time I got through with my final edit and so on, the streets were kind of wet again. And I thought, oh boy, I missed it. <laughs> However, I'm guessing maybe half an hour later, they dried up again. I'm looking at the radar weather, and it looks like there's a, a, a patch, you might say, of... Uh, uh, probably some sort of high pressure coming through and uh, there was no rain and uh, for oh I'm guessing three four hundred miles and I thought well oh, this is this is great so I keep an eye on it and the sky is getting a little bit lighter and lighter to the south southwest and so what I did was I went out on my e-bike and I headed in that direction so I could keep an eye on it and I thought if it looks you know it gets kind of uh, nasty I can quick turn around and <laughs> put the e-bike in level 5 and hightail at home anyway as it turns out it just kept getting better and better and better so I I turned around at the end of my uh, the southern route there uh, which is Talbot Avenue some of you might remember the trip to Talbot Avenue okay I turned around there and I came back and I, I got the scooter out and uh, boy I scooted around for uh, <laughs> quite a while I'll have to uh, dub in the amount of time here because I haven't even looked it up yet. <laughs> but I, I was out for uh, over 50 kilometers again. Uh, yeah, it was just, I just did not want to quit, I'll tell you. It, it got really nice. Uh, okay, <laughs> enough about the bikes. Right now I'm sitting in front of my computer and I'm looking at the clock and it tells me that in about 40 minutes I'm going to be getting a coffee visitor. And I'm just starting the final edit here. Where has the day gone? Well, I know where it's gone. It's me messing around with three cameras. But I was having fun. Thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.